Hi there, Simon from Simon Woods, a dot, a com. Uh, I have a Chilean Carmen Air here, uh, Perez Cruz, uh, Carmen Air Limited Edition 2014 uh, from the Maipo Valley, weighing in at, uh, let's see, I can't see the alcohol on here at the moment, is it on the front? Um, they, they, they ought to have a little pointer for blind gits like me. Um, it's, I can see 18 centigrade or 16 centigrade, but I think that's the temperature at, the, at which they want me to serve it, but... Uh, for the life of me, I can't see the alcohol level. Anyway, I'll pour it out, and uh, you don't want to uh, watch a video of me looking at alcohol levels, do you? Classic herbal coffee, bean, and uh, dark berry fruit of Carmen Air. Actually, the alcohol was hiding in uh, rather large letters on the front label, but uh, don't tell anyone that I told you so. Um, but yeah, here it smells like it's going to be classic Carmen Air. Um, and... Um, Maipo, I, uh, the, the, Maipo is one of the places where there's quite a bit of Carmen Air. Colchagua, there's quite a bit there. Depends where you are in Colchagua and it depends where you are in Maipo, obviously. Uh, maybe the Maipo ones have a little bit more freshness, uh, slightly uh, higher, uh, yeah, a slightly cooler climate. Um, but um, here it smells like it's going to have um, well, of depth, intensity to it. W with Carmen Air, um, the, the, the problem with it as a grape is it's not got it, it ripens very late but by the time and in in doing so uh, it often loses acidity it didn't have all that much in the first place if you pick it early it's it maybe it's got a little bit of acidity but the flavors aren't developed you pick it too late you you are either having to acidify or add in a judicious dollop of other uh, firmer grapes to um, uh, yeah to provide a bit of decorum here it smells like there is some freshness from somewhere it doesn't feel like it's going to be too soft and jammy but uh, let's taste it dark brooding spicy one of those wines that it feels like you need to really slosh it around the jug and get it to uh, expand and, uh, and and open up what there is there is this sweet core of uh, some people say hoisin sauce with um, uh, Carmen Air. I never get it, it, it quite that sweet. But what I, I think they mean by that is there is this, um, there is a touch of uh, uh, greenness, um, which uh, maybe is the fresh, uh, spicy, aromatic bit of, uh, uh, of, of hoisin. But then these ripe, juicy, fleshy uh, berry flavours, which I think is the sweet side. Uh, but it, it does manage that sweet and sour uh, balance very nicely, and this one in particular uh, uh, handles it extremely well. Uh, it feels like a wine I want to um, sit and contemplate over uh, over several courses, actually. Um, and one of those that um, it will it, it tastes good now, but I think uh, it will be it'll, be it'll be so much better for extra time in the bottle, uh, and uh, if you've got to open it now, extra time in the glass or in the jug or something just to let it um, come out of its shell properly. As it is at the moment, uh, pretty tasty, but uh, I think even better in an hour or two. See you soon.